right, Article 100, fiber slash flyings combustible. So combustible fibers and flyings, we also added a definition for ignitable fibers and flyings. And man, I'm so glad they finally did this. So you have three main types of classified locations in the NEC. Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3. Now Class 1 is in Article 501, Class 2 is 502, Class 3 is 503. 501, Class 1 locations, are considered hazardous due to the presence of flammable liquids or flammable vapors created by combust flammable liquids. Uh, so, vapors, gases, liquids. Class 2 locations, Article 502, are from combustible dust. Now, combustible dust is clearly defined in Article 100, and so is volatile flammable liquid back in Article 100. 503, Class 3 locations, is for ignitable or combustible fibers and flyings. And then we don't tell you what that means. We have never defined that term in the NEC, which is patently ridiculous. Well, now we do have definitions. All right, so what is a combustible fiber or flying? That would be a fiber or flying that's larger than 500 micrometers in any dimension and can create an explosion hazard when suspended in the air. Okay, now that probably doesn't help that much if you don't know what 500 micrometers is. Now, the code used to talk about micro, uh, microns. Microns is kind of a, an old school way of measuring. That's like, you know, if you're in the UK, they used to they used to measure by stones instead of pounds and, you know, so well, how many how many or, or kilograms, you know. So microns is not a term that we really use anymore. We use micrometers. And sometimes I'll screw up and say micrometers, but bear with me. What is something that's 500 micrometers? Ground coffee. If you can visualize the size of ground coffee, that is about 500 micrometers. So if you have ground coffee or smaller, right, if it's more fine than ground coffee and it's combustible, that's combustible dust. If it's bigger than ground coffee and it's combustible, then it's not dust. It's a fiber slash flying. Okay, so on the left, this would be sawdust. That is combustible dust. As you can see, that is finer than ground coffee. On the left, we have wood shavings. So same material, just different size, right? Wood shavings would be combustible or ignitable fibers or flyings. Now, does that mean every wood shop needs to be classified as class two or class three? No, no, not necessarily. We're, we're just telling you what the definitions are, all right? This is a combustible fiber and flying. Is there enough of it to warrant area classification? That's discussed in 500.5. All right, so we have combustible fibers or flyings. 500 micrometers in any dimension that can create an explosion hazard when suspended in the air. All right, we take suspensions of things much more seriously than we take accumulations of things. Research the Imperial Sugar Factory in Georgia. The, uh, there was an explosion back there in 2008, I think, completely decimated about 800,000 square feet of a building. You had uh, granulated sugar and it was layered over everything. That did not actually create the fire. There was a small ignition and it shook the building and all of the sugar that was layered on top of stuff bounced up and went into suspension. And there was sugar up inside the red iron everywhere, all through this whole facility. And when the building shook, it rained combustible dust onto the facility and it was like, I mean, it was it, it completely leveled the entire building because of that suspension of the combustible dust. So suspension versus accumulation, two very different hazards. When we're talking about combustible fibers and flyings, that's something that can create an explosion if it's suspended in the air. Let's compare that to the definition of ignitable fibers and flyings. That would be fibers or flyings, once again, that are larger than 500 micrometers, micrometers in any dimension and are not likely to be suspended, but could create an ignition hazard when covering equipment. All right, so here in the photograph, we've got a cotton facility. And as you can see, there is cotton blanketing everything in this facility. 
those would be ignitable fibers and flyings, right? We've got a blanket of fibers and flyings covering everything. So we've got fibers and flyings combustible, fibers and flyings ignitable. Both of them are used in the context of Article 500 and Article 503.